Hello everyone, today we are going to be using the Criterion 2 and I want you to note that this is an analyzer that is not manufactured anymore. So if it breaks by any shape or form, you cannot get any more supplies for this analyzer. Um, so please keep that in mind. Um, when when you turn it on, um, even though it's plugged in back here, you still still need to flip this on switch. And then you're going to notice then that it does its own self check and it will tell you what to do afterwards. Before we can do anything, um, it is going to have us calibrate. Okay, so we're running through a couple of screens here. It's self checking. Um, the light is red, so that means that it's not able to be run yet. It's saying empty the waste tray, and this is something that it's always going to ask you to do when it first starts running. And so this is the part where I want to make sure that you're doing things uh, that are not going to break the analyzer because, again, I cannot get um, any more parts for this. So the part that always ends up breaking is this. Okay, this is the strip feeder, and uh, when you put a strip on here, it moves it along into the reading area of the analyzer before it trashes it into the waste bin. Okay, so when we try to pull the waste bin out using this, this is going to need to come up just a tiny, tiny bit. Please don't yank it up because you're going to break it, and then we can't use the analyzer anymore. So um, I'm going to try to do this very gently and quickly. So it's just a tiny, tiny lift just so it goes over this lip back here. Very gentle lift. Please don't raise really quickly. All right. And as you can see, it's still getting stuck on there. Okay. There is nothing in the waste tray, but part of daily maintenance is that you go ahead and you clean this off. So I'm going to use a wipe, a cleansing wipe, clean the area so that way no residue or anything or dust or whatnot is going to get on any dried up urine is going to get on to the, um, the new, let's see if I can balance this the new strip that I would be using. So same thing, when you go to push it in, everything is gently, <laughs> okay? So this little lip right there is gonna need to be lifted up over. You slide in and then again, lift gently. Everything is super gently, please. This is almost like an antique now. <laughs> All right, so we empty, emptied the tray and now we're going to press start and it's going to tell us hey you can't do anything until you calibrate so um, since i just wiped um, this down i'm going to change my gloves because i don't want the um the uh, cleansing um, solution to get on to the actual calibration strip so give me just a second Okay, so I have changed my gloves. I have new gloves on now. I'm going to take the calibration strips here, uh, make sure they are, um, they have been closed tightly since the last time and that they're um, not expired. These ones obviously are gonna be expired. Uh, we tend to use a lot of expired things in here, but notice um, there are strips in there, okay? And you want to pull one out, all right, and they look like this, okay? They look like they have no color. Immediately, you're going to want to put that cap back on and make sure it's completely in place. These, um, these strips are affected by light as well as moisture, so they can cause false results. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to calibrate. So we're going to press the button and then it says insert cow strip all right so we did that here and then it says um, press calibrate after so we're going to do that okay that comes and takes it you want to make sure that the pads are facing up when you put it in the strip there is a line here okay that tells you where to put the strip and you need to do it straight so that when the feeder comes it'll it comes over drops down over top of it and then pushes it into there 
So what it's doing right now is it's going to be calibrating um, by waiting, excuse me, a certain period of time. And then um, there's a light bar that comes over here and measures each pad individually. When it's done calibrating, it's going to print out the results. Um, and all of this is very um, indicative of what it's going to do if you run a patient. Okay, so um, you would, you would, okay, you hear the light in there going along. Okay, so there was an error. So we need to insert a new calibration strip. Um, so let's try that again. Okay, so we're going to pull this out. I'm oh, sorry, um, pull another one out. Okay. We're putting it pad face up right there. Okay, Ca recapping the vial of these, and we're going to uh, make sure it's nice and straight. We're going to press calibrate, it comes out, pulls it back in, and hopefully, this time is going to be better. Calibration okay, right on the top there. All right, so this now means we can run our QC. This strip here of pink means that we're gonna be at the end of our, um, of our tape that's in here, the paper. All right, so um, it says now ready, and when you're ready, you press start in order to run whatever it is you're going to run. So we're gonna run QC. Um, let me do that in another video um, because that way uh, you'll see each step at a time. All right, so please watch the QC part. Thank you.